What's up guys, this is my review for the Elgato Game Capture HD capture card for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I've had the card since around June, so I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've just been totally lazy about it. But I figured now that I've had a lot of time to use it, now's a better time than never. So here it goes. This is the actual Elgato Game Capture HD cap card right here, sitting on top of the Hotbog HD PVR. As you can see, appearance-wise, there's not very much to it at all. It's just pretty much a black box. And when you look at them right here, side by side, you can see the clear size difference in both the devices. So if you look at the back, you can see that the Hopog connects via component cables, which sucks if you're like me and play on a monitor, because it means you have to use some sort of an adapter to actually make it work. But if you look at the Elgato, it connects via HDMI, which makes it super easy and simple to set up and really gets rid of a lot of wire clutter. Also, if you look closely, you can see the hall plug needs to be plugged into a wall outlet to get power, while the Elgato is powered simply by the USB that is used to connect it to your PC. So looking at them, you can see that the Elgato takes up a whole lot less space and has a lot less wires to worry about. So if you're low on room, or simply don't want to buy an adapter to make a hall plug HD PVR work, I would definitely look into the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now I want to show you guys the software that's used to actually cap the game from your Xbox or PlayStation to your computer. After you get your Elgato hooked up, first thing you want to do is go to GameCapture.com and get your Game Capture HD software, which you can do by clicking on the download link in the bottom left hand corner. After you have it downloaded and installed, you can open up the program Game Capture HD. Once you open the program up, you'll see the capture window on the left hand side which will show whatever is being displayed from your PS3 or Xbox. If you click on the little gear box, it brings up your preferences menu, where you can select what type of output you would like, whether directly upload to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or other options as you can see right there. You can also select which format you want files to save as after they're done being capped. If you click on the little spool box right there, you can open up your settings menu, which you can select devices, Xbox, PlayStation, iPad, or other. You can select your input options with component or HDMI, and profile lets you select what uh, resolution you want to cap at, so 720, 1080. And then also you can adjust quality with the little slider right there, and then you can adjust color and saturation with the bars down the bottom. And right here you'll see Elgato Game Capture HD, which is the device you are using, and the resolution below it. And right below that you'll see a speaker which allows you to mute the audio from the Xbox or PlayStation. Under the speaker are your title, game, description, and tag boxes. You can use these if you want to directly upload to YouTube as it will fill in all the information for you automatically. On the very bottom you'll see the big red record button and then a pause button, fast forward, rewind, and a live button. The rewind button allows you to go back and cap any game that you may not have been recording at the time of your session. So say if you're playing a game of Call of Duty and you wanted to get a, record a game that you just played and don't want to do it through theater, you can rewind back to the beginning of the game and cap it all as, as if it were real time. Alright, when you click on the edit button up here up top, it takes you over to another screen where you can see all your previously capped games, and then you can here you can go through, you can cut and cut out sections if you want to make like a little highlight video, you can go through and erase if what you don't want, and you can also direct it up to YouTube, I have Movie Maker, I don't know why, and you, or MP4 original or MP4 1080p. So yeah, you can pretty much do whatever. You can upload directly to YouTube from here, which makes it super easy if you don't have a program like Sony Vegas, which I know is expensive as hell and a lot of people can't afford it. But with this, you don't need it. So yeah, it's awesome. Shooting A. Order is secure. Hold your positions. This one strike awaiting orders. Overall, I would say the Elgato Game Capture is a great capture card. I've been using it for three months, 
it's user friendly the interface for the program is super easy to navigate around I've been using it for live streaming recording videos and the quality is amazing so yeah if you have any questions about it or any doubts I said definitely just go get it but yeah any questions feel free to comment leave a comment below and I'll answer you as soon as possible all right thanks for watching guys like I said before if you have a question leave a comment I'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you want to see my review for the Razer Onza TE controller, click in the video below. And yeah, thanks for watching. You're awesome. See ya.